July 12th, we met with Lewis Claim Solutions, which was a outfit hired by the carrier's uh, field adjuster to their job was to bring in uh, multiple roofing contractors to assist in determining whether the roofs need to be replaced or if they could be repaired. And if it was replacement or repair, their initial um, was to, to get an, an idea or an estimate of what that was going to cost. So that was on July 12th. There's approximately eight roofing contractors that we walked all the buildings and all of the roofs with. The On August 10th, we, we did the same thing all over again with less roofing contractors this time. Same thing with Lewis Claim Solutions. So we spent a good part of the day, walked all the roof surfaces. One of the roofing contractors was there and did a lot of measuring and other, and other uh, things of that nature. On September 27th, we met with Crowder Roofing, Lewis Claim Solutions again. Uh, we met with a, a crane company for uh, large cranes to give uh, bid item estimates on getting materials to the rooftops, as well as all the swing stage scaffolding that would be necessary to access all of the eyebrows, mansard sections and roofs that couldn't be completed um, without scaffolding. That was on the 27th of September. On October 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th, Many uh, saw us there. We were working with Walker Consultants, who Javier just spoke about the window and door. They also inspected the roofs, the exterior of the exteriors of the building. They also inspected uh, railings, screen enclosures, and and that such. That was on the 9th, the tenth, the eleventh, and twelfth, uh, and and we just assisted them with um, access to the buildings. Uh, in and out of units, as did several of the board members. And that brings us up to today. I, I was going to say that, you know, since the last time that I was there and I met with everybody, we discussed the the fact that there is not an estimate presently or has ever been written on, on this loss. River City is working closely with the engineer as he completes his findings to update the estimate. And obviously they're bidding out the work that is more complicated with um, Seven dot. with the contractors that, that we would want to uh, work with on these um, and that, that you all may have uh, contracts with. And as more information is obtained, they will update their estimate. The insurance company has sent a demand that we submit as proof of loss. And that proof of loss would be due to them by December the 12th. We expect to have the report by Dr. Jane Walker Consultants ready by then so that uh, River and the city can go ahead and complete their estimate, but it may need to be pushed, just so you know. Those are some of the additional things that we're doing to try to get this uh, moving forward. Go ahead, Javier. And, and I guess to finalize all of that is that um, until we have the final findings of uh, the engineer, River City really can't ultimately put numbers down on paper because it's all going to be subject to the scope and the extent of damage that's found by the engineer. Any numbers that we are going to give to the insurance company will be supported by the engineer and by experts. It's not going to be numbers that are just chosen by anyone. That doesn't make sense. So um, the claim will be fully supported by the engineers um, and also building contractors in terms of you know what it costs to do the work. Um, so that's essentially where we are. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and answer those questions. Otherwise that's the end of our presentation of where we are thus far. I think everybody knows who's speaking with the initial person, Sadia Dallara, the attorney, and then it was David Green, the public adjuster, and then it was Ikeana, who's part of the, um, the law firm team. I think he was one that made a presentation to us at the video. Probably I expect the board a few times at this point of the day. Uh, if there are any questions, general questions, we can please. So 
I, I do. Uh, permits, with all what they said, how, you know, are permits going in the right direction? The question we had out there was, are permits going in the right direction? And I think I can answer that because until we know exactly what we have by way of the claim, and then we know what we can resolve that matter for, and then we know how we budget for it, the board has a lot of financial work to do to be able to do that. However, we will give you a little bit of a construction update in a little bit as to some of um, the things we are going to try to do. Eight dot. Some bigger jobs, which require, if you look at what we just pulled. Seven back. Four cracks. Four cracks. So those will all be done for this. Two dot. Five cracks. Mm -hmm. Nine dot. I believe Judy, um, there, thank you, Judy. Okay. Is there a question? Nope, nope. Okay, we're all set. Very good. I want to, I want to thank uh, our insurance litigation team and public adjuster team for coming to us by uh, this. And one of the things I would like to do is Mark has been encouraging the board to get us we have a smart so that we can actually, where we have larger groups, we can actually work perhaps down here. Because if we go in the courtroom, then you just can't see enough people in the hallway and so forth. It's much easier to do it this way. If anybody has further suggestions, we're always open for those suggestions. With that, I'll let our experts and the people who gave us the presentation. Uh, thank you very, very much. We appreciate it done so far. And obviously, we're looking forward to getting that report and being able to share that information with all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you all for your time again. It's a pleasure, you know, seeing all of you. Oh, nice. And everybody. If you haven't done so, Google the law firm and Javier Lovato, Google law firm engineering firm. To get the type of credibility you have because once a claim is made, we know from what our people have told us that the insurance company we have is a solid insurance company that should pay what they're contractually obligated to pay. That doesn't mean it goes easy. So we'll take that one step at a time. But the main thing is the claim has to be put together and documented fully in order for us to proceed. Unfortunately, that takes a lot of time. Many of you have been seriously inconvenienced by the fact that we have been dragging experts around and above and underneath at every place we've taken, and sometimes in your unit. And we would like to tell you that we, we wish you could wave a magic wand and get, this, get them to look at this somehow else, but we can't. So there will probably be more in the future. And when we do, we do the best we can to coordinate the things with the families. I have several members of the board volunteered to go in units because if we send somebody in the unit, <clears throat> we try to notify them in advance. Uh, we also then go in with a member of the board and we go in with a member of our staff so that the member in the unit uh, is just, that's, that's how we try to do it.